if you just want to start by saying how what No Shave November used to mean to you, like what it means now, how you changed. Um, like, no Shave of November actually never meant anything to me um, until we started doing Beards for Boobies. And then my mom actually recently passed away from breast cancer. And so now the whole November to remember, it kind of hits home for me. So because I actually have someone who's actually died from it. And so now this is something I'm just never going to forget. It's been actually a life-changing event for me. We were just kind of sitting around one day talking, and we thought it would be cool to do No Shave November like a lot of guys do. And then we thought it would be kind of cool to like collect money and like start a pool and then like donate it to someone. And then we came up with the term Beards for Boobies, and then it became something a lot more personal because we were helping out people. We also have, uh, we, we actually have bands in a couple different countries right now. Um, my mom's friend actually, he went on a business trip to Thailand and he ordered three shirts and three bands and gave them yeah. to his, uh, his business partners. So we got one in Thailand and also uh, we were at Airliner and we saw this uh, an army guy, uh, he's a military man, who was back from war and uh, he, we gave him the band so he's going back to Iraq in a couple months and he's going to be wearing the band. So, uh, and we also have one in the UK because uh, Storm here with uh, Virgin yeah. Islands. Yeah. They're everywhere. These bands so. are going everywhere. Uh, yeah, do you want to tell the UK story? Yeah, so <laughs> recently I was on vacation for Thanksgiving break and we went to uh, some the UK islands, their territories there. And there's a bar where you can put up stuff like license plates, flags. I saw an Iowa flag with a bunch of names on it. So I put one of the wristbands up there beside it. So hopefully that'll be there forever.